Welcome to Notion and Productivity with Productivity HQ. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to actually set up your Notion and get started with boosting your productivity easily and efficiently. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you guys how you can easily go to Notion.com. You'll type in Notion on Google. It'll be the first link at the top. You'll click on it. It'll take it to Notion.com and then you'll log in. For your login options, it will typically be Google, email, single sign-on, and Apple. So I'm going to sign in really quickly. Once you're signed in, it'll be blank. Nothing will be here and it'll look exactly like this. Being that I've already have an account and I've been using Notion for a while, it's not going to walk me through any steps. But if it was your first time using Notion, it will have some prompts here and give you a little mini walkthrough or either prompt you to do certain things within Notion. The first thing I'm going to do is show you guys that they also have an app version the only thing is you don't actually go to the app store so if you were to go to the app store this is what will happen notion won't be there so what notion has done is they actually have the option to download it from their site so we're going to go back to notion and we're actually going to click this link right here desktop app for mac and what you'll do is click one of these options here and since i've already done it like i've shown you already have the app on my desktop i'm gonna go jump right in and show you how to set it up so as you can see that page that i created on the browser it's already in here on my app so you also have the option to work from your desired browser or either from the app every single time and it'll always transfer over and always be seen so the first thing we're going to do is create a title and the title we're going to do is how to set up your notion after that we're going to add a cover in and for covers they have a few options that you can choose from which is either using unsplash you can upload your own photo use a link or either just the gallery that they actually provide for you in here and the gallery options that they have to provide are pretty different pretty eccentric and you have a few to choose from and they're all categorized but what we're going to do is actually upload something i'm going to show you guys how to actually make your own notion cover in canva and canva is a pretty good customization tool you can create any type of graphics within here and the first thing i'm going to show you is the actual dimensions for the cover of your notion and the dimensions is 1600 by 400 pixels and i already have it created here but one tip i want to give you all is that when you are creating your covers be sure to actually have it centered always make sure it's centered so that when it comes time to reposition your covers you'll have enough space to play with and it won't be uneven. So since I already have this downloaded, let me just upload this into my Notion. So what you'll go do is press upload and then you'll go to upload file. And as you can see at the top there, it tells you that images wider than 1500 pixels work best. So that's also just in case you forget or anything like that, it always reminds you. So like you see how when I uploaded it here, it readjusts itself and it centers out. And then the next thing we have here is adding icons. One of the sites that I like to go to is Super SO. This is one of my like favorite sites at the moment. It's a site that I go to for a majority of my icons. Previously, I used to jump from different sites and try different things, but I like a really minimalistic vibe and these are easily accessible. So I just go to Super SO on Google, click that first link and it's already have it saved. It already populated for me and I was easily able to press it. They also have the option to where you can toggle it. So if you have dark mode on your Notion, you can change it here. But since mine is in light mode, we'll keep it here on light we'll scroll down we'll choose a battery icon i think it's kind of cute so it'll copy you'll go back to your notion add an icon and for the icons option just like i've shown in previous tutorials you'll go in you have the emoji option icons that are already pre-made with notion which they aren't bad it's just with mine i like them a little bit more streamlined which these are but it's just a different kind of style really so we'll go to custom, paste that link into there. After you have your icon in, what you'll do is go over here to the side and they have these options here. If you don't want the default text, they have three different options, which is serif and mono. We're gonna choose the default because I like the way that looks. You can also change the text size if you want a little bit smaller and you don't want it as bold. And then also I recommend keeping it to full width. If you didn't keep it to full width, everything will stay in the middle and that's not too appealing. So as soon as you press full width, everything will slide over to the left. Actually, something that I can do, being that that background is black, I'll show you guys also what it looks like if you were to have it in dark mode and your background wasn't a, a dark picture. There we go. So you can see it a little bit better there. But if I didn't have a dark cover, which I typically don't, usually I have brighter covers so you would be able to see the black there. But just so you can see that it actually populates there. I know you can see the bottom half, but just to see it a little bit better. So the first thing we're going to do after we've added in our title, Notion has this pretty neat feature called templates. So they already come with pre-made templates that you can use which is a great perk for people who are just getting started with Notion or may need just a simple quick template to handle some things or to write down goals or to track something. And they have them in here and they're divided by different categories like work, personal, school, projects, wiki, and docs. 
So we'll go to personal just to give a brief overview and they have personal home. So a personal home, they'll have these different categories, which I've shown in my widget tutorial. But just to go in depth with it a little bit more, we'll start with this template right here. And it always creates its own separate template unless you were to inject it into here, which you can also do that too. So once your template, you clicked on it and it's loaded up, it'll be here. And what you can do is just drag over and copy all of this and paste it actually into your Notion. So once you've pasted it here, and I'll show you exactly how you can just drag it right over. So once you've copied and pasted it into your new Notion page that you've created, what you'll do is actually go in and press backslash two columns create two separate columns drag this part in put that there highlight the other side and drag it here there you go and those ones are just added in typically when you copy and paste it from another document you can go ahead and go into the actual page and it'll already be all the information in here so this is just a habit tracker and what you can do is go in and just change that title and remove the one from each one that you created so with the habit tracker you have different things here that you can check off and there's also a ring at the bottom there that'll tell you your progress and you, there's also another view that you can add in onto your habit tracker so you can see it in a different format and it already automatically has it add a new month button so you'll be able to easily get started and not have to really worry about customizing anything or changing anything so to go back you'll just go up here to the top click on that first page the title of it and go to the next page the next page that is within this personal home is a movies list and right here it has the same button options and you would do the same thing here you press add movie press the link of your movie and paste it into here and it will populate a bookmark for you and as i showed you when we first set up our notion each of these pages will be customizable so this is the recipes page and it's a pretty simple layout and it's not anything too complex to really deal with as you can see there are many pages that you can add into your notion and a few different templates that you can add in also let me show you some other ones within the work one so we have ai sales outreach emails you have brand assets and even back in the personal if you didn't want the whole home you could just create a simple to-do list and it'll already be there for you you could already have a quick notes page and it'll already be set up for you each page you can dedicate to something different that's the great part about notion you don't need to buy multiple notebooks or anything like that you can just use one software to house all of your tasks in your whole entire life one thing i do want to briefly show you guys is the actual templates that i created here's the list of them these are the actual templates that i've created and they each will have different designs and if you don't want to really start with a too much of a beginner template or you want everything that's in there and you don't want to have to set it up you want to just be able to inject your information into there and add everything that you need information wise these templates are pre-made for you and you can get them at the link in the description let's start off with the it girl hub so as you can see this is a total night and day compared to the other beginner template that i showed you and also how you first start out with notion you can see that there's multiple pages on here and multiple different widgets like i said i have a video on how to add your widgets in which i'll tag up here at the top for you guys to check that out so i'll just show you guys really quickly a quick overview of this template and just show you the different things that you may be able to do in here you have a personal hub a month and year overview a vision board you can plan out your week here also you have your morning routine and your night routine over here here to the side and you have your playlist over here with apple music and even you can keep a track of your classes down here at the bottom the next template that i have which is very similar but slightly different is the sos system of success so with the system of success is very similar in the things that it has but not at the same time the system of success we have the reminder quick notes affirmations and your morning and night routine right here at the top and you actually have your calendar and your clock over here to the left top and then you have your navigation on the left side also just so you have all this space for your weekly overview and i've done an actual walkthrough of this notion template so if you actually want to check that out it's also be up here in the cards and you can actually walk through that tour with me and i'll show you guys how you can actually use this sos template after that we have the life planner if you want something that's really minimalistic and simple i've created the life planner and with the life planner the only difference is it just has a daily monthly and weekly plan so what you do is press that button as you can see it populates the schedule you can create a monster here you can have a date to do list and a daily reflection under that the weekly looks like this so it's the same thing it just goes by Sunday Monday Tuesday Wednesday top priorities your habit tracker for the week and it's not actual breakdown like a daily is with a time after that you have the month which the good part about notion it already has a calendar option in here so you're not actually creating a calendar for yourself they already have the calendar like set up for you 
so it has it for whatever date you want and last but not least we have the creative suite with the creative suite i had graphic designers in mind and just people who take care of a lot of different clients we have the clientele digital team vision and strategy socials finances noted and resources if you guys would like a walkthrough of this creative suite let me know so i can give you guys a full breakdown of how this can be utilized to help boost the productivity and efficiency in your business that's all for this notion tutorial of how to set up your notion you're going to start out with these beginner pages add in your icon, add in your cover, and if you want to start out, use the templates that Notion provides. If not, go check out my website, Productivity Headquarters, and grab you a template. Thanks for watching.